Hey, I'm Nikki again, and I'm with the indie rock group here, Everlasting Enlightenment. So, Lauren and I, you know, we both go to school together. Yeah. That crystal, though. Dude, I know, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, how long has your band been together? Um, well, we've been about, uh, together for two years. It started off with... Um, yeah, so we started um, late 2015, and it was just, um, first of all, it was just me and Jesse. It was, it was just, um, you know, kind of like a candid thing, like we would uh, jam anyway. So we were like, hey, you want to start a band together? I was like, yeah, sure. And, you know, the rest is history. Yeah. Now we're here. Yeah, and uh, Tyler joined next, and then I joined about a year ago, and I had never played bass until I joined this band, so. So, who are some of your band's influences? Who do you like to listen to? Who inspires you? Uh, well, we listen to a lot of like uh, classic rock, a lot of um, like Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, that kind of stuff. My biggest inspiration is probably Joan Jett. She's like my idol, Joan Jett, The Runaways, you know, that's my major inspiration. I'd say a lot of my stylings. They come from Green Day, like uh, these kind of bands. Green Day, you've got Led Zeppelin, you've got ACDC, Guns N' Roses, this kind of thing. Oh. Yeah. I could agree with like the classic rock thing. I also, oh. also, oh. Beatles are an inspiration too. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Everybody loves the Beatles. So, have you guys have any? performances so far? Do you have any favorite experiences together so far? Uh, well, it's always fun to practice together, but this is our first ever show as a band, so. Yeah, we have never performed in front of a live audience before, so this is a first for us, but, you know, we do enjoy jamming, you know, we are always practicing. I feel like uh, every time we practice, it's not just like, uh, four random people that are in a group together. It's like we're all brothers and sisters here. Like, you know, it's like that we're camaraderie. Exactly. We're a family, all of us. And so yeah. I feel like we do twice as good because of that relationship. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you guys are in for a real treat because you get to experience the first ever performance by Everlasting Enlightenment. I can't wait. So, if you were on a plane that crash landed in the middle of the South Pacific and left you stranded on an island, what would be one piece of sewing equipment that you'd want to have in your pockets at the time? Uh, I'd say you definitely want a needle, maybe. I mean, that would come in handy, you know, stitch some things together, sew yourself up if you cut yourself open. Well, the thread is pretty essential, too. You know, you can't sew anything without thread. I've got nothing, no. to be honest. <laughs> I'd have to say a needle and a thread. Yeah, yeah. Sen the essentials. <laughs> so make sure one of you has the needle and the other's got the thread, yeah. and if you're ever stuck on an island, you'll be all set. Oh, yeah. yes. Well, this has been a great interview with Everlasting Enlightenment. Look forward to seeing them later on stage.